I get asked a lot in my office to help me understand why um, my previous COVID infection does not protect me. And you, you alluded a little bit to that uh, uh, when you said that we just don't have as much natural immunity as uh, uh, jumping up to the plate and really serving our needs. And I tell patients, well, because uh, we have a hunting community, and I say, well, picture that first vaccination that you have is, uh, as a 22 bullet coming at you, and you, now you bought yourself a 22 vest of self-protection. Mm -hmm. But now there's a 45 bullet going around there. Yeah. And then the next variant, that comes out of another area that was never served well with vaccinations. The next variant may be as infective as the Omicron and as deadly as the Delta in combination. Mm. Uh, and that 22 vest isn't going to help you at all when there's a 45 bullet, a nine millimeter bullets being shot at you. It's going to go through both ends of your vest and you're, you're very much a victim. So please understand that having the infection does not protect you at all. In fact, it suggests that you might even be at more risk because you were your immune system was compromised enough in the first place for you to get infected or your lifestyle, your behaviors or your refusal to get vaccinated. There's something about you that makes you at risk. The people you hang out with, you don't socially distance. Um, you were tagged once and you're just as likely to be tagged again.